Hello everyone, my name is Vish Yang, and this is the work I did when I was uh, intern for the Future Wave Technologies. Um, the name is Context Aware Single Shot Detector. Uh, previously, we studied the prior hours of the deep learning based methods in object detection. Particularly, we studied the methods with uh, one stage architecture, LANK SSD, which is uh, short for the single shot detector. Uh, compared to the previous two stage detectors, like the most popular fast RCN, SSD has the advantage for its uh, real time performance uh, with comparable accuracy to the fast RCN. It is because all the hypothesized proposals at all scales in SSD do not need to go through the whole CN, which largely accelerates the inference speed. So, however, we found that SSD does not perform very well especially on the small object detections because, <coughs> sorry, the most obvious reason for this drawback is that the SSD assumes uh, that small object detection only relies on the fine-grained local features. Um, therefore, it ignores all the context information when predicting for the small objects. Uh, there are also two other non-trivial implementation details that makes the difference. Uh, the first one is that the centers of the receptive fields for each feature map output does not match the centers of the corresponding anchors. Uh, for those very tiny objects, it's very hard to catch the positive samples with uh, greater than or equal to 0 0.5 intersection over union requirement. Um, uh, this, small, this small simple example shows that because of the SSD's special anchor tally method, there exist offsides between the centers of the anchors and the centers of the receptor fields. Uh, as the network goes deeper, such offsides will become larger, actually. So before proposing our network, we want to firstly study the world context, especially in the, in the domain of object detection. Regarding to the convolution neural network, uh, how much large area that each neural can see will decide the context of the learned features. Such area was referred to firstly as the field of view, which has later got his, uh, its name, the, the receptive field. In this paper, we firstly ask this question. Uh, take a VGG16 backbone network as an example. Are those receptive fields, uh, sorry, <coughs> are those receptive fields sizes large enough for the object detection with SSD? Theoretically, SSD has sufficiently large receptive field sizes. Uh, at each of the six prediction layers in SSD, we calculated the theoretical receptive field sizes versus the proposal skills. Uh, afterwards, we found that the TLF sizes in SSD are sufficiently large that it covers the whole area of the uh, possible proposals like the six, uh, six numbers we got, six pairs of numbers we got. However, according to this number in 2015, uh, the actual area that each neuron focuses on is actually much smaller than the corresponding TRF size. Such area was uh, in the literature called the effective or empirical receptive field sizes, which we call ER, ERFs. So, uh, in this paper, we are the first to provide a statistical analysis results of ERF, on a particular on a VGG16 network. With the proposed algorithm described in this paper, we can both empirically and statistically calculate the ERF sizes given a classic convolution neural network without shortcuts like the popular VGG16 network. For example, we are able to visualize all the ERF versus its TRFs in this picture, where the outer square indicates um, our TRF sizes, and the inner blobs indicates um, the actual re region for, each, uh, for the neurons at each layer they are focusing on. Interestingly, we got the two findings. Um, uh, ERF shows clear 2D Gaussian shape and ERF is progressively becoming smaller than TRF as the network goes deeper. So, uh, back to the question, why do we need context? Uh, I, have, uh, I have made a very clear picture in my, pic in my paper. So, finally, we, we propose a context aware single shot detector, which we use dilated convolution to integrate the context at various layers, which 
we found that our method outperforms by 1.8 on MS Cocoa. So feel free to talk to me uh, with more details at the post session. Thank you.